Hi, I wanted to make a how to make a hoop for beginners by a beginner video. So you obviously need tubing and connectors. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and you can pick out a roll of tubing. Then you need connectors and you want straight plastic ones. If you have half inch tubing, you want a half inch connector. If you have three quarters inch tubing, you want three quarters inch connector. You also need a way to cut your tubing. So this is a great tool. Um, it is a PVC pipe cutter. It works great on PE tubing. And I think it's called a ratchet pipe cutter. You will also want measuring tape. A stiff measuring tape is great to measure diameters. A soft measuring tape is great if you want to measure the circumference of your hoop. An optional tool is a razor blade box cutter. I use this along with a vise, which is another optional tool, to cut these nubs off. You don't have to do that with a vise. You don't have to do it at all, but the vise is a lot more easier to do it. And I've seen online some that come without nubs. I have not found them, so I cut them off. Um, but you don't have to, it just leaves a little lump in your hoop. You will probably also want tape. There's lots of duct tape, lots of taping options. That is up to you. Before you measure and cut out your tubing, what you're gonna wanna do is cut off the first little bit because it is usually straighter and it sticks out a little bit. It doesn't, it's not as circular as the rest of it. So it's nice to cut off a little bit. So you'll take your cutter and we're gonna go to open it all the way. And then Stick that in there um, and I recommend going a little bit slow not as fast as you can so that the cut tries to stay as straight as possible so we cut it off then you measure out your tube and you cut it. My next step is to cut the nubs off of this. To do this, I'm going to put it in a vise. I hold, hold it like this, place my hand on the back and my hand on the back. Rock the blade back and forth. then cut the connector down. It didn't need to be that big, so I made it smaller, and I cut off the first three of these. So you just put this in there, and it's harder than the PE tubing. But it's still pretty easy, and, and I cut that edge off. So do that for both sides. Next step is to use a hair dryer to heat up the edge of the tube. I don't know if that was 30 seconds, but what else? It's hot, so I'm gonna try and stick it in until it's halfway and it looks about right right there perfect now I like to wait for the tube that I just heated up to cool off a little bit 30 seconds maybe not very long but I don't want the connector to slip farther down when I'm putting the other side on other side and here we go Next, you want to make sure that your, your hoop isn't twisted around the connection. So you're going to lay it on the floor and look for gaps. And then just make sure that the gap, if you see one, is not because there's a dip in the carpet. So what you want to do is move it around and look. Oh, and look at this. It's a big gap, right? Right there. Make sure the gap isn't in your carpet. Keep going around. 
other gap. I'm not surprised. There's probably going to be two gaps if there's a gap, I guess, uh, like symmetry and balance and whatever. I don't know. So that, in my experience, means I need to twist my hoop a little bit. Um, let's go this way. Better. Then you've made a hoop. I, well, also you need tape. I like to do electrical tape around my connection because I leave the outside bare and I like to do inside tape only.